so we're going to start on the disc brake install. I got the car jacked up in the air and I got it on jack stands. So now I already have the, the wheel lighting them up. I just did it to push it out and I wanted to see how it looked. So now I'm going to um, take the wheel off and then I'm going to take the uh, drum off and then I'll start taking the backing plate off. So I'm going to put the camera down here and we'll get to work on that. Hopefully I have tools slightly ready. Um, right now I got the uh, races for the wheel bearings in the freezer helping them shrink up a little bit so I can smack those home and uh, just show you that in a little bit here but first we'll start with removing the wheel Alright, so one thing I definitely recommend for any Volkswagen 66 and earlier originally this car would have had double jam nuts on the uh, spindle and they work good as long as you install it right and you fold the tab over usually happens is somebody forgets to hold the tab or doesn't tighten them all the way or they over tighten them which a lot of times too. When they over tighten them they strip the threads out and then you pretty much need to get another spindle. But if you do have original jam that's on there I definitely recommend upgrading to the aluminum um, clamp style. It's just like the 66 and later they make them also in the chromoly. Um, you can find them, doom buggy shops, specialty shops in California, there's a few places that actually sell these in chrome molly. These are the aluminum ones, the ones you can get at any Volkswagen parts store. But what's nice is they clamp, you tighten it just like you would a 66 and later bug, and then you tighten down the uh, Allen key, and it tightens it on the spindle and threads the spindle. I like this one a lot better. There are left and right hand threads. Driver side is left hand thread. Make sure you loosen the uh, jam nut to your Allen key so you don't know, tear the threads out of it. There. Alright, so now that you got the nut off, you can take the spindle off. There's been quite a few videos of this probably being repetitive. Would be a problem is the uh, back part of the brakes for the ball bearings is on the uh, spindle, so that may require some finagling to get out of there, and I may not show all that. Now, now the instructions say to um, get the bearing off there and then take the three bolts out of the uh, backing plate, I take the backing plate off and take the hose off. I have got to take the hose off still. So I'll get cooking on that. The uh, race on the spindle is going to be probably a problem when I may turn the camera off and get that thing off. So we'll pop the hood and get the brake lines on those. Goes off. We can go ahead and start taking off the actual backing plate. It will come off with the whole unit. Hopefully, I don't have to remove that bearing shell just yet. So let's go do some brake service in here. still don't have the uh, tie rods all the way connected just yet. The brake kit, off, the, uh, this brake kit also says for earlier models that you need to heat the bolts. So when you take them apart, you don't want to rail them off. If you notice, 
notice I'm sweating really bad, that's because it's Florida and it's nighttime and it's still 90 something with like 80 to 80 percent humidity. So, it's a trade off for living in paradise, apparently. We're going to have to uh, clean up this little bit of the spindle here. They don't want you to have any trash in between it because they say it will uh, break the brackets, what it actually says in the directions. And uh, of course, definitely if you have garbage back there, it's not going to get all the way tight. And, um, and then I got to get this race off here. And uh, I'm probably going to turn the camera off because that's going to require some finagling. And, uh, Hopefully I don't mung anything up, so I don't want that on camera when I do that. So that's the next thing I'm going to do, and then after that we'll press in the uh, races for the uh, rotor, and then we'll uh, pack some bearings, which is all stuff I'm not going to show on camera because that's pretty redundant. Um, but then we'll come back, we'll put the bracket on, and I'll show you something kind of goofy in the directions I found. Um, maybe you guys can figure it out. Alright, I'll see you in a little bit. Alright, so got that off, got the spacer off, it went flying that way with a little bit of friendly persuasion, making sure I didn't nick or gouge my shaft. It wasn't that hard to get off, actually. Sometimes those things can be on there, they can be a pair. So, next thing we have to do is we got the caliper bracket. And I want you to clean this area up here first, and you need to clean the back of the caliper bracket itself. You don't want that to have any garbage on it. It's already painted. That's fairly decent looking black. Um, not that, you know, the spray can that I have would make it uh, invisible or impervious.
torque wrenches people do a lot and that's me you do this that actually does change the torque of it you're supposed to grab it back here at it at its pivot point especially like a beam clicker style you notice they got uh, not a clicker style but the deflecting beam they got that little bit of give on there you're not supposed to have the handle twisted all one way and a lot of people do something like this and that actually does throw the torque off just a little bit you know you're talking a foot pound or two but on some things that can be you know difference between breaking it or not. And what I like to do is I like to hold it for several seconds and that just helps it in case it has a, a little bit of um, give to everything. See people they go around and snap, 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 especially the uh, fancy dancing ones that beep at you. So, got the bearings packed, got them pressed in. That'd probably be the one thing so far that's kind of uh, a little, I'd say a little more to desire on the kit so far would be, would be the wheel bearings. They are not Tim King wheel bearings. They're Chinese made, um, you know, especially made for Empy. So that would probably be my one small grief so far. I'd probably every now and again, um, every couple of years, you know, because you know in all reality, this is a toy car. You're not going to drive it every single day. If you are going to drive it every single day, I'd probably check it, check the bearings out every now and again, just see how they're doing. Um, don't know if they take the same bearings as a stocker. You, you know, you might want to look into that and buy something nice bearings for it. That probably be the only one thing. They'll work. I'm not saying they won't work. Just saying that you know they they could be could be much nicer. So the thing with the instructions here, I don't know how well this shows up on that camera. It says outer pad, inner pad, and note the difference. But to me, I'm not seeing much of a difference here. The oh, up, I see it now. I finally do. Okay, the outer pad has a square end. This is like playing Where's Waldo. Outer pad has like a square end. Inner pad has a relief cut. Okay, so, wow, we all figured that out together here. You know, but I was thinking like, what in the world are they talking about? The pad itself looks the same. It's, it's the backing plate part of it. And I kind of got to come to a stop for the night. We'll continue tomorrow because I don't have any um, Loctite. I don't know where it is. I'm going to look in the shed in the backyard real quick. But I don't believe I have any, and I need Loctite to be able to put the studs on for the brake calipers themselves. But I painted the rotor. Not really a necessity. Just figured, you know, try and keep it from uh, rusting really bad. My wheels will cover up this all the, all the way anyway. You know, it's just kind of a more of a, you know, look deal. But so far it's installing pretty good. There is a left and a right caliper bracket. Um, there is a left and a right caliper, it said, you know, so you got to watch out for that. And apparently, I've heard people put these in wrong before. There is an inner and outer pad, and the difference to the pad is these little 
the little chevron shape right there and the square shape right here. So read your directions. That always helps. So I'm going to go look for Loctite and probably call it quits. All right. See y'all tomorrow.